In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at just a, a couple different probability examples, uh, one with replacement and one without replacement. And probably about the easiest way to do this is to pretend that we've got a bag and it's full of marbles. All right, so in this first example, I want to do a with replacement. All right, we're going to be finding the probability of drawing a red marble and then a blue marble and then a green marble in that order and with replacement. Okay, now what I mean is with replacement is what's my odds if I reach in the bag, I pull out a marble, okay, and then with replacement means I put it back in before I draw the next marble, okay. So that's what we're going to be doing in this first example. So um, in my bag right here, hopefully the colors are going to show up pretty good here. I have uh, five blue marbles, I have four green marbles, and I have six red marbles. Okay, so that makes for a total of 15 marbles in my bag. So I have a total of 15. All right, so I'm going to start. The very first thing I want to do is I want to know what's the probability that I reach in the bag and I draw out a red marble on the first um, try. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six red and there are 15 total in the bag. Okay, now I reached in, I pulled it out, okay, and then that's the probability that that first one was red. Now it says with replacement, so I'm going to take that marble and I'm going to put it back in the bag. So I still have 15 marbles in there. All right, now times, what's the probability of drawing a blue marble? When I come over, I count how many blues. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got five blue marbles. And since it was with replacement, I put the first marble back in, I still have 15 marbles. So 15 on the bottom. Okay, now... I do it a third time. What's the probability of getting a green marble? Well, there are four green marbles. And there is still a total of 15 because it was with replacement. So when I picked that second marble out, I put it back in the bag, which still leaves me a total of 15 in there. So that's four fifteenths. All right, this is straight multiplication. You're going to multiply across the top. You're going to multiply across the bottom. You're going to get um, 120 across the top if you grab a calculator on that. And across the bottom, you'll get 3,375. So that's your probability. If you want to write it as a decimal, you can convert it to a decimal, which means it's about... 0.035 repeating, and if you needed to write it as a percent and show that as a percent, you could say about 3.5 repeating percent. Okay, so that's the concept of with replacement. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing, but this time let's do without replacement. Okay, so the question is, what's the probability of drawing a red marble, and then a blue marble, and then a green marble, in that order without replacement. So I'm going to draw my first one and then I'm actually going to remove it out of the bag. Okay, so what's the probability of drawing a red marble? Okay, so initially I have 15 marbles and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six red out of the 15 total. All right, now that first draw, I drew it out. It is out of my bag. I am not putting it back in. Okay, I'm not going to put it back in because it's without replacement. So now I'm going to ask myself, okay, what's the probability of drawing a blue marble? Well, in the bag, one, two, three, four, five, I have five blue ones. All right, but because I did not put my first draw back in, now I only have 14 marbles in the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the bottom number decreases by one. All right, now... That second draw, pull out the blue one, okay? Now, do not replace it, so it's out of my bag. Now, what's the probability of drawing a green marble? Well, in my bag, I have one, two, three, four. I have four green ones, all right? But now, because I did not replace that second one, I am down to 13 marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now I'm down to 13. So the without replacement changes what you have in your bag, okay? Again, straight multiplication. Multiply across the top, we're gonna get 120. 
multiplying 15 times 14 times 13, we're going to get 2,730. All right, so that's your probability. If you want to need to convert it to a decimal, that's going to be about 0 0.0439. And if we want that probability as a percent, that'd be roughly 4.4%. Okay, so just two real quick examples there of calculating um, some probabilities with replacement versus without replacement. Um, definitely thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful in clearing up the with and without replacement. And be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.